Hello everyone. Today we will see how we can connect directory of host system to the running Docker container. Well, generally when we run a container first time, we give a parameter as minus v, that is a volume. So we connect directory of host system with the Docker container. So anything which is visible in the directory, it is also available in the container. Generally when we run a container, we map the ports of host system with the docker container as well as we map the directory of host system with the docker container. But suppose if you have already run a container, but you forgot to map a port and a volume. So how would you do this in a running container? Well, if you want to see how we can map a port in the running docker container, then you need to see my other video. In this video, we are going to see how we can map a volume, a directory from host system to the running docker container. These are my containers and if you see this container, it is already running. But no directories of host system is mapped with this container. So suppose I want to map a directory where www.html of host system in this docker container. The reason behind why we want to map a directory of host system with the docker container. Well, suppose you are using a version control system that is git and if you are pulling code from repository using git commands. So if your project is running inside docker container, you need to install git inside docker container too. And then you need to run the commands inside docker container. Suppose you are using Jenkins or any similar tool, then you need to mention this thing in the pipeline scripting that you want to pull the code inside docker container. But if your volume is already mapped with the docker container, then you do not need to install git inside container. You can already pull the code in the host system and that will be reflected inside the docker container. So this is the basic reason why we want mount point of host system inside container. Now. The big question is how should I do this? If the container is already running, then it can be a tough task because it does not provide any option to map a directory with a running container. So here I am going to show you how can we do this. First I am going to log in inside this container. Now I'm logging inside the container, it, if you see the www.html directory, you can see there is no directory of html inside the container. Even the www does not exist either, only the where directory is there in the container. And now this is my host system and here if you see the content of directory www.html there are some projects are already there. Now this directory and this contain should be visible in the container. Currently they are not visible. First I need to stop the container. then I need to modify two files. One is hostconfig.json for this container. This is my container and inside this directory these two files are available that is hostconfig.json and config.v2.json So first I am going to update hostconfig.json Inside this first parameter binds is equal to null so I need to replace this section it says 
the host system directory should be mapped with the container directory. Now I need to save the file and I am going to modify the other file that is config.v2.json Here I need to find mount point You can see mount points currently these are empty So I need to copy this complete section And I need to save this file. Now I need to restart the Docker service. And I need to start the container. Now if I log into the container and go inside the directory html I can see the content of that is available in the host directory so now host directory is mapped with the container directory Now suppose you want to map multiple directories of host system in the container then in this case you need to copy this section of code and then you can paste here suppose you want to map another directory that is opt so host system of opt should be visible in the container now same changes we need to do here you need to copy this code and after a comma you need to paste complete section this where www html will become opt similarly this is also opt and all source and destination parameters will be slash opt now you can copy and paste complete section of code in the config files of docker container and both directories will be visible in the container you will get this code in the description i hope it will help you thank you for watching